Working with Pinterest, Creating Boards and Adding Pins. This video presents an overview of Pinterest and demonstrates how to create new Pinterest boards, add pin content, and offers tips for locating other pinners and boards to follow. For this project, you are required to create a minimum of four Pinterest boards and will include a minimum of 20 pins. Review the module rubric for details about each board and the specified number of pins. Log in to your Pinterest account. Use the Pinterest navigation menu to locate your boards. On your home page, you can still use the Pinterest navigation bar. Your Pinterest profile and repin information is presented to followers. Site activity notes the number of boards that you have, the total number of pins that you've included, and how many likes you've worked with. You may also notice how many followers you have and the total number of boards and people you are following. Keep in mind a great way to find new Pinterest sites to follow is to review your followers and even their followers. Finally, the area for your boards is displayed. Two easy options are available for creating new boards for Pinterest. Click on Create a New Board or use the Quick Link button to create a board. Complete the Create a Board form by entering a board name, a board description, select a category, and determine whether you want your board to be a secret board. We will not be creating secret boards for this assignment. Select Create Board. The new board is created and ready for pins. Note that at the top of the page you have the title and descriptive information for your board. As you work with Pinterest, keep in mind you have to have a board created before you can pin or repin items. It's a good idea to create and prepare all four of your required boards. It's possible to use the navigation menu bar to create additional boards directly on your site. For this assignment, you will be uploading original pins, repinning existing pins, and using the Pin It button to add internet content. To begin, we'll upload a pin using the Add It Pin option. Add a pin here, or upload a pin. Choose the file from your computer. When your pin uploads, choose the board, enter a short pin description, and select the Pin It button. The pin's been successfully uploaded to your board. The attribution area on the pin notes that it was uploaded by the user. There are a variety of ways for you to repin an existing pin. A quick way is to look at your Pinterest feed and explore pins from boards and pinners you follow. When you find a pin that you would like to add, Place your cursor on the pin image. Options for pin, send, and like a pin display. Select pin and the repin a pin option appears. Add information to the pin description and leave the attribution information in place. Verify your board and pin it. Return to your board and view the pin. You will also be pinning information articles from the web. Many sites have Pinterest buttons embedded with their pages and some do not. For example, this Edudemic article, How to Use Pinterest with Bloom's Taxonomy, has a Pin It button ready to use. Select Pin It and the Create a Pin option opens. Choose your board and include descriptive information. 
be sure to include the article title, author, website, and date. Pin it. The pin it button selected what image you would use and the attribution area shows it was pinned from edudemic.com. If the site does not offer a pin it button, and this one does not, use the Pinterest pin it button downloaded to your browser. Select the button and choose the image you would like to include on your board. The image you choose will link your button to the article on your Pinterest board. Select Pin It and fill in the Create a Pin information. Choose your board and enter a description. Be sure to include the title, author name, website information, and date. Then pin it. View the pin on your board, noting the image you selected is there, as well as the pin from attribution information. Return to your boards. Note that every new board created is automatically added at the end of your board list. You can work with the board changing the cover save changes, and located it anywhere on your boards that you would like it to be. Click and drag. Remember, for this assignment, be sure all of your boards are located at the top of your Pinterest page. For additional help with pins and pinning, be sure to take time to review the Pinstamatic and Snapito video. Have fun working with Pinterest!